okay so in this video we'll be talking about the measures of central tendency uh, specifically about the three types of averages so first um, let's have the uh, title of our topic here so we have this measures of central tendency so the measures of central tendency describe um, describe the a certain group of data uh, in such a way that we could um, find its center or its common ground or for example if we are going to graph our data uh, let's just um, let's place this one this is so if we are going to graph our data so we could find its center for example if our data is rising that that is the graph of our data so we could find its center so the the uh, part or a point in our graph in which the date the data can cluster together so that is known as the measures of or that is uh, what's known as central tendency okay now what there are three um, ways to to measures uh, to measure the central central tendency and all of those three is um, commonly known as the averages or if the singular form will be average okay so average uh, is in a context it is a single figure single figure that represents a group of figures so we know pretty well sometimes we will um we we will incorporate or we will say that mean and average is the same but in uh, statistics or in data analysis um averages does not only uh, uh denotes um mean but also there are uh two different um connotation or denotion of average so of course the very first common average is what we called as mean okay so mean is in mathematical term the sum of all terms divided by by the total number of terms okay so this is known also as arithmetic mean so we just write here the other um, connotation for mean so we could call this one as arithmetic mean okay so we could have the general formula for mean from this definition so let's have our main uh, mean as x bar so x bar is equal to the summation of x over n wherein our x or our summation of x is equal to the sum so x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus dot 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 up to x to the n and our n is the number of terms so they say that mean is the most uh, easy way to find or to describe the centrality or the central tendency of a certain data because you just get the sum of all the datas then divide by the total number of datas and you will get the mean okay so the next one so if you 
if you are not um, if you are not familiar with statistics so the next one will be somewhat new to you and this will be called as the median so the shortcut for median is MD okay so it is defined let's just check our notes here that we will not miss anything on the definition so define as just write first in that, as Okay, so we have median. So median is defined as that point in a distribution with 50% of the measures or scores on each side of it. Or also known as if you are going to go to our analytic, analytic geometry as our midpoint. Okay, so midpoint. So if the median, we could say the median is the middle. So it is a part of the data or a single figure part of the group of data or group of figures in which we could say that 50% from the left is equal to the 50% of the right. So that is what you call as median. So we could just uh, say that it's the middle, the middlest or uh, the midpoint, the midpoint of a group of data. Then the last one will be the mode. So mode. Okay, so we have mode so mode is defined as that value that appears most frequently in a distribution or a uh, distribution of measures or scores Let's just write this one measures so scores okay so meaning that for example if you have a certain uh, data for example we have five six nine 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 eleven twelve 15 so the score that appears most frequently so it is repeated many times so we so that will be our mode so at this example our mode will be so red our mode will be this one so we have three nine so our mode is nine so that will be our mo so that is mode why why does we need to have the mode so because if a certain data is is re repeated much frequently than the other data so there there is a certain um, clustering of the data on that on that part or on that um, certain score for example if you in in, in a given um, in a given uh, score or a given group of data so there are 25 um, 25 repetition of 
of a certain part. For example, we have five twenty-five. So meaning the 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 central the centrality of that of those group of data will tend to be near to five or maybe five point six or below five four point nine. So that is the importance of mode. So that will be all. So we have here the measures of central tendency in which we are go in which we have group them as averages we have the mean median and the mode so on our next video we will try to get the mean of group and ungroup data so thank you for watching this video and as always subscribe to the channel and enjoy learning